G'day, welcome to another episode of Steve M Outdoors. I am, of course, Steve M, and today we're going to be looking at something really exciting. We're going to be looking at the consistency of bullet weights, particularly when it comes to bulk bullets. I know, stop your grin and drop your limb, and this is going to be crazy stuff. At any rate, if you're like me, one of the reasons why you got into reloading outside of a ready access to ammunition, particularly for rifles, which uh, it's difficult or expensive to get ammunition for, is to save some money. Uh, because at the end of the day, um, you do tend to save money per round loaded. Now, if you're also like me, you're always looking to squeeze out even more savings. So, I used to reload my 223 ammunition with Hornady's. Uh, 223 55 grain full metal jacket bow tail pretty popular a lot of people use it and not terribly expensive I think and this is Canadian dollars uh, this box of a hundred bullets cost $21.95 so you're looking at before tax at any rate about 21 cents a bullet that's not horrible but you can always go cheaper so last year I switched to Campros bullets and these are a box of 500 instead of 100. They're also 55 grain full metal jacket bow tails. And as you can see, they pretty much look exactly the same. They both have a cantalure, they're both allegedly 55 grains. Pretty much identical construction on the look face of it. These cost $64.95 for 500 so instead of 21 cents a bullet you're paying uh, math is hard about 13 to 14 cents a bullet of course the next logical question that a reloader who is in search of consistency and at, and at the end of the day consistency may be the most important thing when it comes to your ammunition um, you can pound out cheap bullets all or ammunition all day you can pound out as much as you want all day but if it's not consistent you're not really getting the full benefits of reloading because uh, at the end of the day we're supposed to be able to make ammunition better than manufacturers. So the question that as I said that is begged is these Campro bullets how consistent are they because if you're paying what 60 percent of the price of a Hornady bullet how good are they? How consistent are they? So the subject of today's video is, is we're going to weigh a random selection of 20 bullets from each box and see exactly how consistent they are in terms of weight. Because bullet weight, of course, does play a role of consistency. Bullets that are all exactly the same weight with the exact same powder charge, the exact same case, the exact same primer should, at least in theory, impact the exact same place all the time. Of course, we know that probably isn't really true, but at any rate. So I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to spare you actually watching this on video, because I assume nobody wants to watch some middle-aged fat guy weigh out 40 bullets, and I will present to you my findings. All right, and we're back. Oh, that was a lot of work. Math is hard. All right, so I've got my results on this piece of paper here. And right now, it's on the screen, so you can take a look uh, as, well, as well, while I read this. So for the Hornady rounds, on the face of it, you can see that uh, there is a bit of a spread for uh, some, what most people would consider mid-grade bullets. Um, and it, you can see from the numbers that the heaviest was 55.18 grains and the lightest was 54.98 grains. So between the heaviest and the lightest of those 20 bullets, mind you, that I measured, uh, there's a 0.2 grain spread. The average was 55.08 grains, so a little bit more than what the box says they are. And the standard deviation for you math geeks is 0 0.44868. So not a huge spread. Uh, as standard deviations go, that's pretty low. The Campros, uh, interestingly, the heaviest was 55.16 and the lightest was 54.90, which is a spread of 0.26 grains, so you're looking at marginally bigger spread. The average, however, 
interestingly, and this is this is where the numbers kind of are, are funny, the average was 55.003 grains. So in aggregate, a lot closer to what the box said. And the standard deviation though was a little bit higher, it was 0 0.563. If you look at it, you eyeball it, you'll see that um, the Campros had a couple that actually weighed 55 grains, whereas the Hornady, I believe, only had one bullet that actually weighed exactly 55 grains. Most of them seem to be about 55.1, yeah, 55.1, whereas the Campros, on average, actually seemed to tend a little bit lighter at 54.98. There was a couple there. So what does this mean? I'm glad you asked. I think if you're a precision shooter, um, whether you use the Cam Pro, Hornady, Spear, Nozzler, whatever it may be, you probably want to weigh your bullets and try and get the most consistent uh, uh, number possible for your ammunition. So, you know, you can group them by 55 grains, 55.1.2, you know, whatever. I think if you're someone who just takes their AR out, plinks, you know, doesn't need to do sub MOA groups, you can probably just get away with using the bullets without really caring about their weight. But you should know, obviously, that there are bullets there that weigh as much as 55.16 and bullets that weigh as little as 54.98. So that is a bit of a spread. I mean, you're looking at basically a, a quarter of a grain. Does that have a practical impact on shooting? I think if you're a precision shooter that probably will bother you a little bit. If Precision shooters tend to be very anal about their ammunition. Uh, I think if you're someone who just makes rounds for planking or if you're an American uh, makes rounds for self-defense I, I don't think there's really much of a difference. So the bigger question though is, is, is it worth using uh, a bulk bullet like Campro if you're in Canada? I, I don't know if they're available in the States, but I'm just sure that there are bulk bullets manufacturers in the United States. Is it worth switching? Uh, for my purposes, I would say yes. Uh, cutting 40% off the cost of the bullet, which makes the rounds that much cheaper. I think it's totally worth it. Uh, to be honest with you, given that the spread between the highest and the lowest was 0 0.06 greater for the Campro bullets, and the average bullet weight was really not far off from the Hornady, actually more average uh, compared to what they were supposed to weigh than the Hornady's, and that the standard deviation was just marginally higher. I, I think you're totally safe with switching to Cam Pro bullets or, or any bulk bullets. Of course, the proof is in the measurement. So next time you buy a box of bulk bullets, you might want to, you know, uh, weigh them out and see exactly what it is that you're getting. And uh, there are standard deviation calculators online if you really want to go math geek like I did today. So conclusion of this little experiment, I would say that using bulk bullets for Plinking or, you know, target shooting rounds is acceptable. It's not a problem. Uh, if you're a precision shooter, you're probably going to keep weighing your cases, your bullets, and trying to get as precise as possible with your charges. And that way, you can hopefully uh, do your sub MOA groupings. At any rate, like I said, it was a short and dirty video. Just something that occurred to me this week when I bought a box of bulk bullets. It made me wonder, so I had to actually go out, buy a box of Hornady's just to test them against. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed this video, or at least found it marginally informative. Uh, as always, if you liked it, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, knock yourself out. And if you want to share it, please feel free to. Anything that gets the word out about the channel is always appreciated. As always... Happy shooting, safe shooting.